last week it was uh, my birthday and uh, I turned 60 I don't feel it no I of course you know I'm a year older but uh, no I, I feel no different now than when I was in high school just to be honest somebody said uh, maybe another 10 years I'll start feeling it maybe maybe not but uh, does it feel like I've lived six decades I uh, know it don't uh, it don't uh, it don't feel you know like I just said I don't feel it but uh, you know I've, you know I feel I feel a little different now than when I was 59 you know a week ago <laughs> I mean but anyway uh, somebody asked me the other day which decade did I enjoy living more? The 1970s or the 80s? It's kind of, kind of a good question. Which decade did I... Notice I don't say 90s and I don't say 2000s. Obviously, uh, times are getting a little worse and worse. So, uh, I'm basing this on the better decade and uh, but uh, uh, which did I enjoy more the 70s or 80s I'm going to have to say about equal but if I had to choose a winner which decade would be the winner you know you know uh, the, uh, this this one in second place is still 99% but if I had to choose which decade I'd have to say the 80s and why? Uh, that's uh, when entertainment got just a little easier. My uncle bought uh, uh, when the VCR come out. In case you don't know what a VCR is, it's it's what we call a DVD player today. Anyway, he uh, he wanted me to go to Sears with him, 1986. So me and him go to Sears, and he gave uh, around 450 and then they talked him into insurance. Now, uh, back then, VCRs had a million parts in them. That was a drawback to them. They had a, if you take the cover off the housing, or to take the lid off, you'd see a million parts, and obviously... If that breaks down, the labor it would cost you an arm and a leg. So the so the uh, Sears salesman talked him into insurance. I figured it was like three or four years, you know, labor, you know, you know, one hundred and forty nine dollars, and and you you know, you're basically paying for nothing because the odds of it breaking down would be pretty rare even back then. But he went for the insurance, you know. As we, we walked out of Sears, <laughs> me and him, <laughs> he, he's holding the receipt. <laughs> the receipt shows 600 and, what was it? I'm trying to remember. It was, Yeah, it was, I definitely remember the 600. Oh, yeah. I think it was six with a tax and all around, it's, uh, I don't know, 640. You know, I think we bought some accessories, you know, with the VCR, raised the price, but it's right around $640. And he looks at me as we're in, as we're go, uh, uh, walking through the parking lot, going to the car. He said, you think it's worth it? <laughs> I said, I hope. He said, will you do me a favor? I said, what's that? He was my uncle by marriage. Real nice guy. Howard and he says will you please uh, I, I lived with him at that time he said uh, will you please rent a lot of movies and I you know the, the you know to make it useful and he will too now I worked the third shift I worked the all-night shift and they worked my aunt and him they worked a day shift so I had the house. I didn't leave for work till about five o'clock. About the time they come in, I was leaving for work. I did not like working night shift, but I did. But the but the advantage, the gain I had there, I had the VCR all to myself. 
because they was both working. I had the VCR at the house. I had the VCR at the house to myself all day long. And after work, I would stop and rent about $10 of movie rentals a week. <laughs> so, I would uh, wake up in the morning, grab me a bowl of cereal, or fry me some eggs. And the, the, we had the VCR on wheels, we had, so we could easily roll it from the living room to my bedroom. So that's what it did. I'd fry me some eggs or cereal, get you know, and I would uh, roll the VCR into my bedroom, uh, put in some movies, and, wa and watch movies all day. <laughs> oh, God. You know, so yeah, I would have to say the 80s is the winner. Over the, It's close. I mean, you know, let's, you know, I love the 70s growing up. You know, it's 99% the 70s, but the winner, I would have to say, would be the 80s. 1980s, yep. Yeah. 86, to be more specific. So, you know, before that, entertainment was hard. Three channels on TV. Entertainment was very hard to come by. And uh, I, I, the only one in our family that had satellite TV was my Uncle Pete. I don't know if anybody in the family that had cable was new. Everybody I know was still on a regular TV with the antenna, three channels. So right around that, well, it w it wouldn't right around. It was 1986 because that's when I uh, moved in with them. And every day after work, I'd drive in or pull into the movie rental. Rent a bunch of them, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, I see they was due in 24 hours, so uh, I would buy two or three. I mean, it was a total of about $10 a week. You know, and uh, uh, it just, uh, it, you know, it was a lot of money back then. I mean, $10 in 1986 was a lot of money, folks. But you got to understand, the VCR was exciting. New technology. You know, I grew up on three channels. I, I grew up on poor entertainment. Now, I'm not saying poor, poor. I mean, I enjoyed the shows as a kid when I was growing up. But we only had three. We had no, we had no way to get entertainment when I was growing up. That was a draw back to the 70s. Then all of a sudden, 1986 comes around and my uncle buys a VCR. And I used it every day. Every, I'd, when I would wake up, automatic. I didn't turn no TV on. I plugged in the VCR and watched movies uh, all day, all day, until I, you know, I took a shower and I watched movies until I went to work again. Those were the days. <laughs>